Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. I'm using version 17.17. In this video I'm going to cover the the new Pro Clip Array brushes and also the new Pro Image Brush Array and Pro Image Shape Array brushes. Twisted Brush has uh, for quite a while supported uh, image arrays and which give you the ability to paint with a series of, of images. These have been completely redesigned in this release and now make uh, use of the clips panel. This makes it easier to, to create your, your array of images and also more flexible for how you can use them. Uh, what I did here just to, to set up in advance is I created a layer and did a couple of quick uh, brush strokes on there with this Pro Image Pastel. What I'm going to do is go and select my copy tool from my uh, tool panel here. Click and drag, and it copies it to your clipboard. And then you clip on your click on your clips panel, and it places it there. And I'm intentionally spacing these out just so I could show that they don't need to be right next to each other, and just repeating the process. Also, notice the background. Uh, layer is uh, is turned off, which allows us to have the transparency. So now I have a clips bank with uh, four image objects stored in it. I'm going to just clear this page. I don't need that now. I'm going to go now and select my uh, brush that I want to use uh, from the Art Pro category. I'm going to the Art Pro Clip Brush Art Set, and I'm going to select the Pro Clip Array ordered spray. Select my brush tool and now you can see we're painting with the array of objects we stored in our clip bank. bank. And you can see because we selected ordered it is doing them in order red, green, yellow, blue. And it will go from uh, top left to right and follow down until it has processed each of your objects in your current clip bank. You notice if I switch to a different bank in paint, it immediately makes use of your new objects. So in this case, I had pre-set up some objects uh, uh, of fishes. And go back, and you can see we have that. With the brush controls, it gives you uh, good amount of flexibility with changing how these objects will, will work. So we could put, for example, directional uh, rotate on, and now we follow the direction of the stroke. Or we could uh, do tiling so that when we go off the screen it will go and allows you to make seamless uh, textures. And there's, a, like I said, a variety of different uh, brush controls you can do. Now I've just showed you the clip array. The same type of functionality exists for the image brush and also for the image shape. We see we have the series of array brushes here as well. You could see another video which shows the the differences between a clip brush, an image brush, and an image shape brush. They each have, uh, uh, they're very similar, but they each have unique uh, advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to go back to my uh, first bank of clips here and clear this page and go back to the Art Pro Clips Brush Art Set and going to select the uh, Pro Clip Array random spray. Now it's going to just select randomly select uh, an image from your current clip bank. As you see, I'm going to put on uh, disbursement uh, fairly high, so it's just going to spray them out. Let's increase the size of the brush a little bit, and let's put tiling on. Let's also rotate the randomly rotate the objects as well. So when tiling's on, it is a little bit slower, but now I'll be done here. And if you want to see your seamless style, you can go select the Move tool with Wrap X and Y on, and you can see it seamlessly has created that. 